Okay, so now we're going to talk about how to do detail work when we're painting in the leather. And the detail we're focusing on is filling in this area here with the cranes. And one thing is this can be really stressful because you're trying to make sure that your brush is getting in to all the little nooks and crannies and you get all the details but you're not painting over the highlights of your surface where you want your red to be. And what I want you to understand is, although you're trying to get it into those nooks and crannies, that detail work is not super duper important. We're going to do what's called a wash, and it's a pretty cool trick if you catch it early. It's one of those little dabble do ya sort of things where we're going to get all of our details in very quickly, like so. And then take a little sponge with a small amount of water. That's going to allow you to wipe some of those details so that the paint stays in the lower area but it comes off of that upper region. So this is used a lot when you're doing miniatures or doing places that have a lot of nooks and crannies that need paint and you know when you're painting them it's using something like um, a couple of hairs just you know two or three hairs on the end of your brush and it's just really painstaking and so you'll find if you dilute your paint a little bit here and you do the wash you'll get most of the details you want filled in but you don't have to be really diligent about getting these edges exactly the way you want them. So I'll do that brush technique and then once I'm satisfied with whatever region I'm working on, all the detail work, while it's still damp, let's come in with that sponge again, do a light wash. You gotta remember as you do this that's what your paper towel is for. So that's going to take most of the paint off. Give you a pretty clean look. Okay, So you're not too worried about the diluted paint here because you're going to end up painting with more red over it. But you do want to make sure that as you go along you don't let everything dry because by the time it's dry, it's really hard to remove. So you're just taking that little bit, trying not to get too much paint on every surface. Get it in all those details, and then come back with your wash and wipe the high surfaces clean. Okay. And that's the fastest way to get those details in the way you want. Get that darkness along the perimeter but not have to worry when you come back with the red to paint the high spots, right? And I can tell you right now, the thing that's going to get me is the little dot eyes of these cranes. So if I don't remember to dot the eyes of my cranes and then do my wash, I'm going to have so much trouble coming back when it's, you know, red and just trying to get that clear. I'm going to do a light wipe again. Some people are really happy with just the wash alone, and that's all they'll do. But I prefer to do my lowlights first, and then come back with my highlights. And sometimes I'll do a secondary wash. So now we're going to rotate the design. And get the last of these highlights and lowlights defined. So as I'm filling in these big areas, the focus is really getting those details. The big areas are just to get all the, the paint off the brush so you can come in and cut those lines. Without wasting too much paint. Okay. So the interesting part is once you have all those lines cut, you can get away pretty easily with just lightly brushing a sponge or some other, you know, surface. 
across the armor and get the highlights painted so you can get the the reds to go on basically the same way I'm taking the blacks off okay just know that this detail section because we're using water is going to take longer to dry than the remainder of the pauldron right? Bit of water. But I like the pre wash because it really outlines the colors that you're trying to drop in and remove. So when you paint the leather, the whole point of painting the leather, aside from the, the fantastic colors you get, is you're really trying to make sure that your armor isn't molding in the closet when you're not running around wearing it. It wants oils. It just needs oils to stay naturally protected. And so the latex is going to get inside the leather and make sure that molds can't grow. So it's a protectorant as well as a detail which is really nice because you can choose your color. But know if you scratch your leather when you're out battling, because I'm sure you're going to be out battling with this, you do want to make sure that you do paint those areas and you let it dry. Um, if you're oiling your leather for the same reason, it'll work out just fine. Right, so let's get our sponge again. Let's get those low lights. And then switch to our paper towel. All right, so at this point you're committed. You have all of your dark detail work done. And when it's dry, you can come back and do your perimeters in red and black. Now, if for some reason you decide that these areas you want to be darker, now is the time to come back with the brush and say, you know, I don't think I chased that line in the way I wanted. I'm going to come back and redefine it just a little bit stronger so when I have the red it's a little less work to get the colors where I want them to be. Okay. Pull that all in. Make sure we've got it. So the funny part is with, with most of the people I know who do armor they're like I'm just going to paint it and do a wash on the whole thing because it's faster, it's easier. I'm not gonna bother aiming. And it's your choice. It's entirely your choice. It's based on how confident you are with your line work, how confident you are with your wash process, how comfortable you are doing this wiping step. As you go through each time, you learn a little bit more about what you can do to get away with it and what you should not do in the future. So. I always find keeping paper towels handy is a good idea because you're never like, oh, I wish I hadn't brought those over here. They weren't useful at all. You're always like, oh no, I can't reach them and I really need them right now. So we're just doing that final wipe down, that wash, so that we have our low lights and our highlights defined. Okay. And so once we get the red, those areas will pop right out. 